Now then, Happy New Year to one and all. I've recently tested me uh, tent out in extremely windy conditions, but I didn't get any, any snow or extreme cold temperatures. So that's what I'm out to do today is hopefully get some extremely cold temperatures. Sidetracked by how nice that is, look. But we are quite like and then see it goes into an old bit of pipe. Stunning. That's a stunning bit of latch and lock. Some of the best the Dales has to offer to be fair. Yeah. If you're into your latches and locks, I'll leave a link below to uh, my latch and locks Instagram page and no it's not a joke. I take it very seriously. Whoa. Hey up lads. Look at that. The Dales. Ah. I ain't got no food lads. No food. Well I've actually got some food but you won't want to know what it is. Bones. Oh, it's boggy. Oh, there's loads of bones in here. <laughs> Let's have a look, eh? <laughs> Anyone in here? Yeah. Looks like looks like sheep bones. Oh, the log is a there's a beam. It stinks in here, man. Oh, it smells like rotten egg. Get out! Ugh, get out! <gasps> oh, the hills have eyes. Yeah, it's best to take a few layers off than to keep them on and, and build up a sweat, because once you stop, that sweat gets pretty cold. <laughs> Beauty. Beautiful. Ah, and we've got a bit of snow. It might it might dump it down overnight. The temperatures are certainly getting low enough. Uh, which would be nice. But I'll just take this mate. Just makes everything so crisp and alive. Love it. Ah, where are we off? I've got a fair whack. Fair whack. Look how ominous it is over here. Ooh, a bit dark and foreboding. Foreboding cipher. Ah, that was a bit of graft to do, but it's in the clouds. Which means that at times it might. I might get a cloud inversion, who knows? All I know is it's a glorious day. Look at that, you can see the peak of where I'm heading to, just poking through through the clouds there. It's just showing itself for the first time. And it's stunning man, the light. The light is beautiful, it's so peaceful. Uh, speaking of light, I don't have much because it's the middle of winter here in the UK. So if I'm going to get up there before nightfall, I better get a wriggle on. I'm going to go up here where it's not so steep and then along this ridge to there, the highest point and along. Let's crack on.
Oh, the temperature has dropped dramatically. I feel it on my skin. It's very cloudy and then every now and again, it'll break ever so slightly and you get to stare directly at the sun because it's in this sort of, uh, I don't know, it's masked by the clouds. Uh, there you go, there she is, look. Can't see anything off edge. Still not to the summit yet, but... Uh, whoo, the temperature's dropped. And that wind chill doesn't half cut you. Especially if you've got a little bit of a bead on, you're gonna stay there. I feel like I, I feel like I should say this in Finisterre's defence. Uh, <laughs> I got this jacket when I did the um, Ben Nevis with Northern Monk, and there's there's been a custom uh, embroidery in there. So obviously the water's hitting the embroidery and going straight through there, and then soaking my chest. So I can't speak on. I can't speak on it because <laughs> it, you know, that is that is why it'll be failing me. That's why I get wet all over ears because of this. So, <laughs> I mean, it's good to rep, isn't it? It's good to rep Northern Monk all day. But come on, lads, getting me moves soggy. Full summit. <laughs> oh well, next one. Onwards and more upwards. I don't know if you can see, but pretty steep and it's a long way down, so just gonna stay a couple of feet away from the edge. You never know. Visibility's not very good, so best to be safe than sorry. Oh, best to be safe than dead. Uh, I can't do too many of them. I can't even talk. I can't do too many of these. Walking ones, not in winter, mate. Not at the best of times, but in winter. It's just energy sapping. It looks good though, doesn't it? I hope you appreciate it. I'm right on tops now. And it is beautiful. <laughs> you can't see down there, it's pea soup, but you can see it's broke up here, so. Oh, mate. Look at it. Can you even look at it? Oh, again, don't want to go too near to edge. Because it could be the last edge you go near. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Come on. I've not had a good sunrise for a while, so last time I it, the winds came in, so I'm going to stick this side and see if I can get a sunrise and put all my chips on this one, on getting a decent sunrise. Let's have a see. There's a fella over there. Get chatting to a fella. Oh, hey up, mate. Hey up, mate. Can you even see that rainbow thing? There look, there's like a rainbow coming off the side of the mountain. And I'm my shadows in the middle of it. Oh my God. Oh, that's boss. Man. Get a photo of that. I wish I had a zoom. You can see that rainbow with me right in the middle of it. Oh. If I just can get you just to say, yeah. what's your name, mate? Andrew Tate. We can knuckle, can't we, because it's COVID yeah. knuckles. What was the organisation that you uh, worked Friends for? Friends of the Lake District, so we're a 
landscape charity that campaigns for landscape in Cumbria and the Lake District National Park and also the West Midland Dales which is which this area is in. Right well if I can find a link to that I shall put it down below so please go check it out. Uh, Andrew Tate and we've just seen a, a what, what was it what was it called? It, it's called a rock and spectre um, it's just these fantastic conditions that you get sometimes in winter um, with the clouds on one side of the mountain and the sun directly behind you and it casts your shadow onto the mist and around the mist something called a glory forms which is like a circular rainbow it's like a refraction on the water droplets um, you, sometimes you can go for years and years as a hill walker right? you can go for years without seeing them but in these sort of winter conditions when you're just on the edge of the weather between where the cloud is yeah. and where it's clear um, this is where you can catch them so we're lucky to get that then we are yeah yeah uh, cheers for that mate thank Brilliant. you thank you Nice one, Von Brocken Spectre. So I've learnt some at there. I was taking photos of the now. Now I know it's called a Brocken Spectre. That I was taking photos of that because I thought it was something that I'd not seen before or not paid particular mind to. Um, and then we had a nice little chat, and then I asked him if he wouldn't mind just telling telling you lot what it was because. Someone who knows something, innit? It makes a change on this channel. <laughs> well, look, and so, all right, Andrew, mate. Yeah, I, I give him channel name, so he'll be checking this out. Uh, check the back catalogue, Andrew. Don't forget to like, like, share, and subscribe, mate. Yeah. Sorry to, sorry to disappoint. Lower your expectations, bro, and we'll get on just fine. Look at this. Check and dispecter. Rock and die Deutsch, this is it mate, this is where I'm camping. This is flat enough, uh, it's far enough away from edge in case I just, you know, if wind takes me off or I stagger across it with sleepwalking or whatever. Uh, whew, yes, yes. Oh, the dome away from home. Give it one of these. Uh, there she is. Just got to chuck a few pegs. It's only attached to my bag, a guy line to my bag. So I'll peg it out, decide where I want my door. <laughs> and then just taking some of the scenery. Hopefully I'll get a sunset and a sunrise, fingers crossed. There she is. All, peg, all Peggy mitchell in. Oh, it's on digits like, but hold on, put you down. A real talk, man. It's real talk. In it. Ah! My digits. Oh, Digit Jones's diary. Gug. Oh, quick. Get me Hestras on. Hestron Blumenthal. Jesus, man. Ow! Oh, joyless cometh it inneth. Oh, you lose your dexterity though, don't you, with gloves on. It's a catch 22, mate. It's a catch 22. I've closed off the other door and I've chosen to have this as my main door because it's so much, the, the wind is coming this way, so it's, it's really still and a lot warmer at this side of the tent. So this will be the vestibule that I use today. Oh, look at it. Can you see it? Oh. Glorious. <laughs> keep hydrated when you're hiking in winter in the snow because you can be so cold that you, you don't feel thirsty uh, so it's important to force yourself to drink layered up to max the uh, Aklima merino base layer 
which is still, if you want, 10% uh, off at Nordic Outdoors for any merino wool, uh, Acclima merino wool stuff. Hazy 10. I'll leave a link below. I'll leave a description of that below. So I'll, I support wherever, whenever I can because they're an independent company that needs support. So, And they were kind enough to pass on a 10% discount to people who watch. So check it out. So I've got my Acclima base layer on. I've got two tops, two wool, two merino wool tops. A couple of, a couple of pairs of socks. <laughs> I've got a fleece. I got a sports bra on. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a gluttonous, fest, gluttonous, festive period. So I've got, a, I've got a sports bra on. I'm onto, a, got a training bra on. Uh, yeah, fleece and then a down jacket. Got me, me anti, anti. Covid uh, protection unit that goes over the face, not chin, whatever. Me hat. Ugh. I've had this for years. Found it in a garage. Right, and that's that. Look at all this room in here. Stupid. Daft amount of room, mate. And then topped off with me Hestra gloves. <laughs> which have been a lifesaver because when you're knocking about you know sometimes I've got to do finicky stuff with camera or whatever that I have to take my gloves off and it kills me because oh, that just brings life back to them they're getting worse every year uh, for anyone who's had chemo they'll know that uh, it just it's, it, it, Annihilated my nerve endings in my, in my extremities. My fingers are worse than my toes, and they just they're just each year they get more and more painful. And especially, I've, I've broke a couple of fingers. I got shot in one finger, uh, so yeah, my fingers take 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 uh, take the worst of it in winter. So these gloves are a godsend. Hestras, also Nordic Outdoors for all your gloves all your gloves if you want to get some winter gloves like an up your glove game then uh, Nordic Outdoors I can't recommend them enough oh, yeah have you seen this me what there's me waffling on and all the while all the while there's that sunset look what did I say I wasn't going to waffle on and there I am, talking about gloves and socks. Look at that beauty. Oh, it's stunning actually.
I've got my little swimming thermometer there, just rigged up. And just checking it every now and again, just out of curiosity more than anything. And to also, you know, it helps you keep a track of what your, your gear's doing. So cool, my ice is, my uh, water bottle's frozen, look. <laughs> there you go. It's chilly. It is chilly. You can buy any old frying pan. As long as you've got a set of these, or whatever. Might be a little bit better than some of them folding frying pans you get. <laughs> Gotta find somewhere solid away from uh, away from the side at ten. Will it come out? It's cold. Yeah, it's fine. I just want to sear it on both sides. A little bit of uh, crushed salt and pepper. And a little bit of tub. Oh my god. You gotta be careful uh, cooking tubs in a tent because when it cooks it's a bit like pepper spray mate. We just want to cook it a bit more gently now so it cooks through to the middle. And if you can, I'm gonna give it a little bit of this action. And just blast off all that fat, just render all that fat down. That's what you want. It's cooked so thin, you just want to warm it through. I don't want to turn it into like, I don't want to sweat it down too much. Still got a nice bit of bite to it, but fully warm. Oh. There it is, tea is served. Looking forward to getting some warm food in me. Morning glampers. Hear that? About to defrost my water bottle because everything was frozen. I was boiling though, I was lovely and warm. I had to unzip me rubber scent just to breathe a little bit. There's no condensation on the inside, on the on the uh, mesh and the outside. Very limit, very very small amount, but what is there is just frozen to the tent anyway. Let's get out. Um, and yeah, let's do a bit of filming. Let's catch this sunrise. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Best thing about it is this. Is about is the way I'm wearing these. Look, pulled up right over everything. Look, <laughs> that's best bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, fingers are cold. Can you believe it? Look, <laughs> eh? No, absolutely no. <laughs> oh mate. I had to keep my eggs warm because my eggs were freezing over. 
One of them froze completely over, it's a man down. The other two I had to, I had to keep them warm. I had to keep them incubated like a massive chicken. Like a down, well, yeah, like a big chicken. The forecast got it wrong. But at least I got amazing skies. I got an amazing sunset. So, and there it is, look. See that little what light bit there? That's, my, that's the light coming through from the from the sun. But I might as well get back in the tent then. What's the point? I'll batten down the hatches and wait for better weather. Have some breakfast. Got the vents open so that it doesn't create too much condensation. Last night was the last night before we went into tier three where I'm from, so this is what tier three looks like mate. <laughs> Not much going on. Looks like I'll have to get my send packed up. Cancel my New Year's Eve plans uh, and get me sell on lockdown again. Sorted, mate. Sorted. Get on. That's it. Uh, just so you know, leave no trace. Just a bit of flattened snow. <laughs> Visibility is very poor. Very poor. No sun rises, but as I say, last night I was spoiled, so I can't grumble with that. Well, I loved it, man. Uh, unfortunately, got the news last night that uh, where I live is going into tier three. So, <laughs> this is it. Cancel my New Year's Eve plans. Got myself on lockdown. Uh, a lot of love for everyone who's in the same boat. Uh, just keep on plodding on man, just keep doing you, being the best you you can be. Um, that's the best way you can do it man, just work on yourself, be the best version of you and then anything that's thrown at you, you can deal with it better. Thanks. What a year it's been mate, what a year 2020 has been. <laughs> <laughs> a roller coaster to say the least. Ah. Right, au revoir, take it easy, much love. See you later.